Hi everyone, it's Danielle. I'm doing an unboxing of Mindspace. This is a game designed by um, Nao Shimamira and art by Julianne Griep. And a game that is perfect for one to five players. All right, so this was actually a game that someone had mentioned during a Tabletop Express uh, live about rolling rights. So I was like, I've never heard of this. And um, it definitely sounded interesting enough. And the fact that it was solo friendly really just checked off all the boxes. So this is um, published by All Play. It takes about 30 minutes to play in ages 11 and up. Okay. So as you can see, the box is a. Uh, very portable. I mean, you could easily put this into a little bag. And um, I like the overall art as well. It looks very abstract and artsy. So let's get this opened. Okay. So we have a rule book and then just a pamphlet with other games that I'll play works on. We have six colored markers, dry erase with erasers, always helpful to have the erasers. We have five colored dice to match those markers. Looks good. They feel very cold because I just actually got this in from outside and it is pretty chilly here in the northeast of the US. Um, we have some cards here and that did not come off the way I had hoped. Alright, almost there. Um, but yeah, it looks like there's a couple of different cards that will be in this deck. We have uh, five shape reference cards, reminders on the back, then we have the solo rules, um, and it basically kind of tells you what you would do on your turns, and it would be a beat your own score kind of thing. And then it looks like we have some other types of cards, the shape cards. So I'm guessing these would be the pursuit cards. So as you can tell, it's a bit of a polyomino type game. Um, and then here we have the gold cards. So there's 15 on um, three different types of decks, A, B, and C. And yeah, wow, the, the art, I really like the style of art. I don't know if you can get a good look at the colors. Like they're really like, they're almost crayon-like, which you don't see too often these days. So kudos to the artist in this game. I really like it. And then we have um, the dry erase boards. So the dry erase boards, there are five scoreboards, five brain boards. So this is the scoreboard. Okay. And then this is the brain board. Um, I'm not sure. Is it the same on both sides? Probably not because there's an A and B. So I'm guessing there's a difference. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, these are all the components of Mindspace. Definitely stay tuned for a playthrough of this, um, a solo playthrough, because that's typically what I do on my channel. Um, but yeah, let me know if you've played this. And if you're the person that mentioned it in the Tabletop Express uh, chat, um, let me know. Uh, thanks so much for the, the recommendation about this roll and write. I think this checks all my boxes in terms of portability, solo friendly. Dry erase, which is, you know, uh, 
Typically the way I prefer to play a roll and write is on a dry erase sheet. I usually laminate my paper sheets if it does not come with a, a dry erase board. Um, and it seems to be a pretty quick game. 30 minutes is the perfect amount of time for a solo game. Most of the time for me. Um, but yeah, I will hopefully upload this and a playthrough um, within the same week of each other. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of the game if you've played before. And I'll see you guys around. Thank you.